Hello guys, today I am going to show you guys how to implement app mod interstitial ads in your new D project. This tutorial will be using the previous tutorial project which showing the implementation of Google App Mod Banner. If you have no idea how to set up the Google App Mod, you should check out the previous tutorial. So and the things I want to highlight here is make sure you have set up your if you are using Android platform make sure you have correctly set up your Android manifest file by placing the metadata into the application tag with your correct app ID cool now let's continue to the installation implementation so firstly I will rename this banner object to app mod because we will be reusing both object and script. The script also we I will rename to app mod. Double click to edit it. Now let me rename the class into app mod. Cool. So let me comment the request banner method. We will keep the method here. We need to declare private interstitial ads a class from the Google mobile API so now we need to create two new methods the first one will be show interstitial without picking any parameter and the second followed by a private method we call this request mm, install Interstitial. Okay. Cool. Let me see the show interstitial. Mm, no, we should start the implementation of the request interstitial. So, copy the banner unit ID checking script, paste it to our method because interstitial S will be using another type of ID we call this interstitial ID then now we need to look for our app unit ID so go to your app mod dashboard after you have created an application for it for Android platform or iOS block now go to your apps unit add and as you need, select the Interstitial option then give it a name create as you need. now this will be our Interstitial at unit ID so because for testing purpose we are not going to use this ID I will go to the guide to look for the sample ID Experiment and installation and let me check where is the yep this is the section let me copy this go back to our script and paste it okay now let's continue we will check if the installation object equal to now then uh, oh remove should be interstitial only no equal to now then we will call interstitial dot destroy we need to clean it up before creating a new one so now we will create a new interstitial by setting interstitial object to new interstitial I n add and placing the add unit ID inside. Okay, cool. Now we will call we will load the interstitial app by calling dot load app. This will take a add request. So let me create another share method that will return a app request 
so private app request create new request return let me copy this line and paste it over here cool now we will just call the method to get the new request cool um, you are allowed to request and show insta the installation as at different point of time in your game that means you can request first then show it afterward but for this tutorial i'll be combining both function in a single trigger so i'll be calling the request installation when i call the show installation method now i need to make sure the installation as is ready before i am showing it on the game so i will be using a event callback for hmm, uh, let me go look for from the guide so let me check yeah there is a brandy of the event and i will be using this public void handle on loaded so cool so when the s is loaded then i will call installation.show method and i need to make sure if the installation is loaded equal to true so now i need to buy the buy this event to our installation on loaded we will handle it on this method mm. okay cool now yep now our installation script is ready let's go back to unity i have created a button over here and the button will be trigger the show installation method from the app script cool now let us test it on our emulator view setting make sure platform is android view and run yep demo is fine replace it now we wait for the build Okay, let us try to click the button. Mm, yep, as you can see, the installation app is showing after it is loaded. So let me try again. This will clean the previous one and create a new one. I think you have noticed there are some delay when requesting the installation app. So you might want to request pre pre request the installation as before showing it to your player. Cool. I think that's it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial helped you. If it did, please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.